Yes, it's early, very early. Um, it's half past six, and I've uh, got to go and meet the coach for a day trip to St. Augustine. for the trolley ride uh, for an hour and a 20 minutes drive around St. Augustine. So we're on the top of the battlements at um, the Castillo San Marcos fort. Used to be owned by the British a couple of years. Really, really nice. Very hot, obviously. Got her upstairs. But uh, yeah, a little wander around. Show you some some of the sights here. It's very hot. Really cool places. Nice to come to. No disrespect to. Uh, American friends, but it's nice to come somewhere which does have a real bit of history to it. It's really cool. All right, history made primarily by the Spanish and the British. Um, we should have kept hold of this colony. It's rather nice. This schoolhouse, which I was in before. So we are at the old schoolhouse, which I've been to before. Um, nice little garden here. This is one of the the oldest schoolhouse in the United States. Nice little privy garden. And here it is. Into the schoolhouse we Creepy mannequins that uh, were here last time. Very cool place, very cool place. But I say the mannequins are a bit creepy. Just throw that out. Dark clothing is a bad period. We was dressed this way in 
1831 by graduates of the class of 1864 during the class reunion. That's right, Johnny. Uh, they also decorated this little school the way they remembered it when they were here. As a matter of fact, on the back wall, there are some photographs of the class taken at that reunion and the class roll. The school itself was built sometime before 1763. Thank you for coming to visit. Don't forget your diploma and enjoy your stay in the nation's oldest city. Bye! Well, that was like an episode of Thunderbirds, honestly. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There's the kitchen. There's the creepy mannequins again. Well, I like this. This is the, well, it's actually a privy, but it's actually called the meditation room. But it's a privy, so uh, go figure. Pretty cool, anyway. So, the very nice St. Augustine, very nice. Old building, it's very cool. Just going off the beaten track a little bit, I'm trying to find the oldest house which we passed earlier on on the uh, trolley ride. Uh, I think it's just down here, so we'll go and have a look. Okay. This is the old town. Lovely old shop here, look at that. Father Miguel O'Reilly House Museum. Circa 1691. Mm. I just met a cool guy called Michael Zimmerman and we talked about pretty much life, the universe and everything. He sort of stuck down here in St. Augustine trying to get home to Tennessee. Really nice guy. Wish I could help him out, but uh, I'm on a budget myself, so uh, yeah, interesting. Meet cool people, mm. meant to be. Okay, we're walking down the main high road back towards the trolley stop. Might be a bit of the uh, fountain of youth. Yeah, you know me. About as religious as a brick wall on the head towards the big cross that they uh, erected. It's quite an interesting viewpoint. Basically, it's a big cross for Mr. Jesus. It's actually quite impressive, actually. Not bad at all. So there you have it. The first European landing in America. Way ahead by about 50 years of the Pilgrim Fathers. Fascinating. So apparently this is uh, known as America's most sacred acre. Uh, tradition has it that the first mass in the new colony was celebrated here. Okay. This present chapel is the fourth building on this site. It's rather nice. And we're back to the start. Just by the uh, Fountain of Youth, famous Fountain of Youth. Okay. It's got a rather groovy little water wheel. Well, that's pretty much it for St. Augustine. Very cool trip. Waiting for the uh, coach to go back and have a little wander around the museum. Yeah, it's been good.